Okay, so um, I've heard a few questions about doors. I had these same questions myself, so I thought I would just uh, offer my solution that I've found. In this experience, I have two different types of doors. I have an elevator door that opens when you approach and closes when you approach. And I have a swing door that opens uh, when you approach and when you go inside, um, it closes and if you get close to it again, it, it opens back up, okay? Same thing with the, uh, same thing with this door. If you approach it, it opens, you can go inside and it closes. Uh, if you approach it again, it will open and when you walk away, it will close, okay? Um, so let me show you how I did it. Um, for me personally, I, I chose these triggers to be outside uh, because I wanted the doors to open at a certain amount of space. Um, let's start with the let's start with the swing door. It's actually a lot less complicated. So what I have here is um, <clears throat> I have a script, and basically what I'm doing is a uh, I like to use variables so that I could uh, uh, use the script over and over again and. Uh, and one door might want to be uh, faster or work in a slightly different way than the other door. So for my, for my uh, variables, I have time, which is the amount of time it will take for the door to open or close. Um, I have a sound effect. Um, I have a target. That's the actual door that you're going to set as the target. Um, I have the amount um, that I want the door to open. And I have uh, the point that I want the door to return to when it closes. Okay. And the script, what it looks like here, is when the world is started and we have an event where the trigger is entered by a player, uh, we want it to play a sound effect, and then we want the action to be rotate to, and this is important, not rotate with, rotate to a certain vector. That's the amount we want it to open to. So the action is for it to rotate specifically to 160 degrees. That's going to give you the door opening uh, every time. Um, okay. And over time, that's the amount of time we want it uh, to take to open the door on the target, of course, okay? Um, now, uh, when the trigger is exited, right, with the player, play a sound effect, and also rotate to the return point, that's zero. I wanna talk about why this is important. Rotate to is what you wanna use rather than rotate with, because if you rotate, if you're telling it just to rotate 160 degrees, Every time I walk in and out of the um, target, it's gonna it's gonna rotate 160 degrees. You'll you'll see this thing spinning around. You're never gonna get it back to normal. Um, this way, um, no matter what amount, say if it's only rotated 30 or 40 degrees, and I walk out, it's just gonna close and go back to where it was. So that's why that's important. Okay. Uh, the one final thing I want to explain about this, if we if we look at the way that the actual door is designed, I think a lot of people have questions about this is um, with this door you'll notice that if you if I select if I select the entire thing um, I, I've gotten the pivot point to be in the center here and the way that I did that was I, I put an object to counterbalance the width of this door uh, here I made it invisible I turned its collision off it's it's benign as far as the scene is concerned um, but what it enables me to do is it enables me to have my pivot point uh, be where you'd want it to be for the door because uh, they don't you can't choose your pivot point now so the way you do it is to uh, create the door and a counterweight um, equal width uh, and then group all of that together okay so that's how you get a door that opens and you can go use the toilet <laughs> and uh so yeah so that this is, um, well, this is it. And then you go in here. Now, the other thing is, I'll say is, you know, I didn't want to use a door handle. I didn't want to make things too complicated. You're always trying to make things easy, but you want the, the intent of this is that the door closes behind you. And then if you want to get out of the door, you have to approach it anyway. So it's just about placement of the target, right? So what I did was I have a target that is slightly, just ever so slightly inside as well as outside. Um, I made this with that in mind so that uh, when the user approaches the door, right, it's going to click that trigger and it's going to open the door, okay? The elevator door is slightly more complicated because uh, 
while we don't have lo local transforms, meaning you can't just uh, move to, uh, it's looking for a specific location, I found a way to make doors that work no matter where I move this elevator, the doors will open. It's a little more complicated. If you guys like this one, let me know. And if you want to see the elevator, let me know and, uh, and I'll do a separate video on that. Um, but this is my technique so far. And uh, if you found something better, let me know. Or if you like this, or if you have any thoughts or comments, let me know. I'd, I'd like to see what you all are doing out there. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.